It's that time of year again for spring cleaning. And while many people look forward to getting rid of old clothing and furniture building up in their homes, spring cleaning can be extremely overwhelming, especially for seniors. Sandy Cortuccio from Right at Home joins us this morning with ways that families can help their elderly loved ones out with spring cleaning. Good morning, Sandy. Good morning. So first of all, tell us a little bit about Right at Home. Right at Home provides in-home care and assistance to seniors and the disabled to help them remain as independent as possible um, at home. Mm -hmm. Let's talk, you have some tips um, for family members, especially this time of year. The first one is check the medicine cabinet. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, very important. Uh, a lot of times, you know, the uh, medications are very expensive, so seniors like to hold on to them in case they need them at some other point. And um, so check them for ex expirations and go through and discard any expired medications over the counter or prescribed medications. And interestingly, there's a um, take back day coming up, National Take Back mm -hmm. Day for medications to dispose of them properly. You can go online at takebackday.dea.gov and find out where you can dispose of them in your neighborhood. Okay. Alternatively, you can also put them in kitty litter or coffee mm -hmm. grinds or something like that where somebody's not going to accidentally take them, put them in a plastic bag and seal it okay. and put it in the garbage that way too. Good advice. Another tip with the cleaning, you're saying clear the walkways. Yes, clear not only the walkways mm -hmm. from tripping hazards and everything, but also um, in the home, take up rugs that tend to be tripping hazards. A lot of people forget mm -hmm. to do that. And we always warn seniors, too, when we go in and do a safety inspection in the home of some of these things to remove from tripping hazards. Mm -hmm. Focus on kitchens and bathrooms. What specifically? Well, in uh, the kitchen, you're going to really want to, again, look at expired foods in the refrigerator and in the cabinets and discard of those. Mm -hmm. um, and while you're doing that, it's a good time to take down all the items they use frequently and put them on the lower shelves where mm -hmm. it's easier to reach. They're not so likely to get on a step stool or something that can cause falls in the home. Miss Sandy, I think a lot of people, there's that dynamic of the senior being, get out of my house. You know, they don't want you to go in there and start switching things around. And sometimes it really gets just out of hand. I've had a lot of friends deal with this. Mm -hmm. What's the best advice for people who are trying to help a senior where the they home may, is just gone? <laughs> or they yeah. may not want, necessarily want yes, the help, right. but you know that they need it. It's hard for them to get rid of uh, some things that mm -hmm. they have a lot of memories attached to things in the home. So it's very, very important to involve them in the plan. What are we going to plan to do? And if they have trouble letting go of some things, bring some other things in maybe that they have in storage, maybe um, to put out new things that also have memories to them so that you can gradually get some of the clutter out of the house because it's important to declutter and make it safer environment for them. What are some of the other issues that you see that are most prevalent here in our area that you could offer some tips on? Or yeah, um, well there's so many different types of personalities. So it's really like know the personality that you're dealing with. Mm. Some people really do like to get rid of a lot of things mm -hmm. and other people really are holding on to them. So have a conversation, um, involve the children, make it a social event, involve the grandchildren. Um, seniors need that interaction and the social engagement. So, And just learning about Right at Home, there are experts who, a lot of resources out there that can help a family get through this. Well, yes, we can. And um, we often do. We have caregivers that are in on a regular basis. And that would be one of the activities, we'll call it an activity that they do at mm -hmm. this time of the year, is to help the seniors. Uh, we have a caregiver who says she arranges all of her clothes by color then to make it easier for her uh, during the summertime. Not only in removing um, the winter clothes to the back and bringing the summer clothes to the front of the closet, right? but put them by color. Mm -hmm. and anything, they, anything they can do to help. Yes, they do. Thank you so much, Sandy. We appreciate you coming in. Okay, mm -hmm. well, thank you. All this great advice is on our website, cbsnewyork.com. CBS 2 News Sunday morning. We'll be right back.